Good Friday morning. I'm Ashley Cunha with your Concho Valley This Morning Update. San Angelo Police are continuing their investigation into a deadly accident case this week. Officers have not released the name of the man who died of his injuries after he was struck by a driver Wednesday night on North Van Buren. The victim was riding a bicycle in the 1900 block. Officers say that the bike was dragged for nearly three blocks after the collision. Police recovered a passenger side mirror at the scene, using it as evidence to help locate the driver's vehicle. The bicycle rider was taken to Shannon Medical Center, where they later succumbed to their injuries. And after more than a week helping California firefighters, four San Angelo firemen returned home Wednesday in time for the Thanksgiving holiday. The firefighters drove their special emergency response truck to California earlier in the month, assisting area firefighters as they worked to save civilian homes near Malibu. They were part of a group of firefighters from across the country who aided in the disaster. SAFD worked 24-hour shifts, helping contain the Woolsey Fire, which burned close to 100,000 acres. And dozens of good fellow Air Force Base personnel enjoyed a specially cooked Thanksgiving meal Thursday. Groups of volunteers with their military family helped make the day even more special. To help the service men and women feel more at home, a number of commanders on base do what they can to help prepare and serve warm meals. Almost 1,000 people were in attendance yesterday for the Air Force Base lunch, feasting on turkey, sweet potato, and even some macaroni and cheese. Now let's see what's happening in weather with Kara Thompson. Kara, what should our local shoppers expect if they're heading out for some Black Friday shopping today? Well, I think that the big headlines for today are going to be breezy conditions, but warmer temperatures, looking at a high of 73 degrees today, but wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour, so make sure to hang on to those gifts. Tonight, mostly clear skies with a low of 39 degrees. Winds will decrease a little bit to 5 to 10 miles per hour, and for tomorrow, definitely going to be warmer, looking at a high of 77 degrees with most uh, partly cloudy skies for the afternoon. And for your weather authority, extended forecast for the rest of the week, we're going to have a warm start to the weekend, but a cold front will move through the area Sunday, and that's going to dip our temperatures down into the 60s for Sunday afternoon. By the time we get into next week, we're going to have clear conditions overall. No rain really in sight, but we're looking at temperatures staying in the low 60s overall to start the week.